Hey guys, a tarot watcher here. I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel like there are too many coins and tokens on Terra, and they're proliferating every day. There's always more of them. You've got your stable coins, right? Lots of different stable coins. You've got all your different flavors of Luna. You've got all the new tokens that Prism Protocol is going to be making, all of their, their P assets and their Y assets. You've got LP tokens from Astroport. You've got all of these new MA assets from Mars. You've got all these E tokens from Edge. And every day there's just a new protocol that pops up with a new governance token. So there's just so much to keep track of. And, and don't get me wrong, I love all the composability. I love all the granularity and complexity complexity it that's great but but sometimes i think wouldn't it be nice if if you could take all of this complexity multiplicity and you could create simplicity and unity and that's what nebula does right the, the, the big picture it, it, this video is going to be all about the big picture of nebula like the big picture the big picture here is e pluribus unum just like the united states nebula creates one from many so this is going to be the third and final video in my series about Nebula Protocol. Uh, you can check out the first two if you want. Uh, this video isn't going to be full of technical details or numbers or anything like that. It, this final video in the series is just going to be about the big picture. Like what, is, like, like, what is Nebula fundamentally going to do? How is it going to change the ecosystem? How is it going to interact with other protocols? And like, it, just the big idea, it's going to take many and create one and that's pretty profound like in DeFi, we've got like i said all this multiplicity complexity nebula is going to give you simplicity and unity okay so uh okay uh, before i jump right in <laughs> i gotta say uh this this whole series was produced with uh, the support of orbital command they are a, a community validator on terra they are trusted they have low fees and they genuinely care about decentralized money just like the rest of us uh, you should check them out all right, so uh, I'm going to talk about, you know, like this is the big picture video. I'm going to talk about three big picture possibilities for Nebula Protocol, like three ways to view it, three narratives that you may want to consider when you think about uh, Nebula Protocol, like frameworks, basically frameworks for understanding what Nebula is at a high level. Like the three, the three things are, it's going to be the gateway to Terra. It's going to be really easy for new users to come and invest in the whole Terra ecosystem because all they all they're going to have to do is just buy a cluster token or, or just a couple of cluster tokens. They won't have to investigate the whole ecosystem. They won't have to rebalance their portfolios. So it'll be good for new users. Also, I think even like people like us who use <laughs> Terra all the time and are very familiar with all the different protocols, even for us, Nebula is going to provide a lot of value. And I think it's going to be a meeting place where all these different coins and tokens come together. And I think it could kind of be like the heart of Terra. Everything is going to come to Nebula and meet there and create cluster tokens. And I think ultimately it could become a DeFi destination so that people take their coins and tokens from all over DeFi, bridge them over to Terra to create clusters. And if 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 Nebula like was successful with the Lindy effect and you know people came and they trusted it, 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 it could get really big and really interesting. Imagine clusters with tokens and coins from all different ecosystems in DeFi. That would that'd be pretty sweet. So it, these are the big picture possibilities for Nebula Protocol. And I, I'm, I'm going to go over them one by one. So first of all, oh, <coughs> first of all, like the most obvious thing is Nebula is going to be great for new users. Let's face it, DeFi is complex. It's multi-chain at this point, and it, it's just sprawling and getting bigger and more intricate. And like there are just parts of it that are so incredibly esoteric. And that creates a lot of risk. So Nebula is going to simplify things. It's going to simplify and unify. And so, you know, like, just think about how a, an Avalanche native or an Ethereum native or a Solana native might view Terra. Like, you know, it, they probably don't have enough time to, to, to research all these different protocols and everything. Like, they've got their own ecosystem that they, they invest their time in. But if they, if they did, wanted to deploy some capital and spread it out all over the Terra ecosystem, it would be great for them to, say, buy a cluster of Terra blue chip alts. That'd be a really good thing for them. Or, they, you know, even with the first cluster, Lust, they can get uh, exposure to Luna with muted volatility because it also is comprised of a large part of AUST. 
And, you know, this is ultimately why passive investing is so popular in, like, in TradFi. Plenty of people buy ETFs just because they don't have to worry about researching every single company that they're investing in. And that same principle is going to apply here, obviously. People, it's just going to save people time. So, and, like, I was talking about people from, like, DeFi users from different chains, but just think about how how easy it would be to pitch Lust, the first cluster, like a cluster token of Lust. How easy would that would it be to pitch that to your friends and parents and family? That's what I'm going to be doing. Like, just, you know, people don't even understand AUST. Honestly, people who are new to DeFi, they take UST and they put it into Anchor and they get back less AUST, right? Because AUST is worth more than UST because it accrues value from the interest that you get when you deposit your UST on Anchor, but that confuses them. So Lust, Lust is just so simple. You just buy it, and then the price will go up uh, as, you know, it Lust is easier. So that's going to be a great entry point, a great gateway to Terra. Uh, but also, Nebula is going to have lots of benefits for DeFi pros. Like, and here are the things. Like, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use these clusters for sure, because they give you auto rebalancing with dynamic weights. And that logic is all customizable, so it will be different from cluster to cluster. But like that rebalancing, yeah, it's convenient, which is great. I don't have to worry about rebalancing um, my portfolio. When one of my tokens goes up a lot in value, I may need to rebalance it myself, but with Nebula, I won't have to. So that's convenience. But even if I were willing to rebalance my portfolio myself, by doing so, I would incur uh, I would incur, what is it, taxable events, right? Whenever you trade a token, that's a taxable event. You have to pay capital gains taxes. Uh, Nebula, basically, it's a loophole, right? Ultimately, you can have a cluster token, and in the background, that's going to be rebalancing a basket of assets, and it's not going to incur any taxable events, which is pretty sweet. So it's convenient, it saves you from having to pay taxes, and most people in the world do have to pay taxes whenever they buy or sell an asset. It's a taxable event. But also, like you can take this package, this rebalancing uh, tax-free package, and use it as collateral, uh, first on Edge and then maybe later on Mars. You can borrow it, lend it, and borrow, a, borrow against it. So there are going to be a lot of benefits for DeFi pros, and that's why I think Nebula could become the heart of Terra. Just think about it. You're going to get all these different, interesting, diverse, unique, creative clusters made with products, financial products from Prism, P, P assets and Y assets. You're going to have leveraged products from Levina, maybe some LP tokens. Did you think of that? Putting LP tokens into a cluster, some MA assets from Mars, AUST from Anchor. It's going to kind of be like making a recipe. Like these clusters are going to use all these different ingredients from, from across the the Terra ecosystem, put them together, and all these different tokens are going to come and mingle on Nebula. And then you're going to be able to use the resultant financial product, cluster tokens, as collateral on Edge to start, because Edge is going to have um, isolated lending and borrowing pools, and that's good for new, novel, experimental assets. And maybe like if some of these uh, clusters, these cluster tokens establish a deep enough liquidity on uh, Astroport, maybe they'll even be eligible for uh, usage on Mars. And, and I think that'll happen to Lust, because Lust is comprised of Luna and AUST. They both have very deep liquidity. And if the cluster token itself um, is able to is able to accumulate deep, deep enough liquidity on Astroport, then yeah, I think it could be a good collateral asset for Mars. So a lot of stuff's going to be happening. Nebula is going to pull together the entire ecosystem. It's going to take from the whole Terra ecosystem and make new products. Like I said before, e pluribus unum. From many, one. That's what Nebula is going to be doing. So the thing about these uh, potential clusters, like, first of all, you know we're going to have uh, wrapped Bitcoin on Terra, right? When the Bitcoin reserve is all set up and finalized, we're going to end up with wrapped Bitcoin. That's going to be pretty cool. So we could make something like Bust. This is just speculation. This is a possibility, but it may happen. Imagine a cluster that rebalances between Bitcoin and UST. That'd be great. Bitcoin isn't that volatile compared to other cryptos, but, you know, it is fairly volatile, so it's kind of hard to 
borrow against it. But if you had something like bust, where the Bitcoin volatility were muted, then that'd be good. That'd be a good, a better collateral asset. And I may want to have a, a little bit of that in my portfolio. Like I'm always going to have Bitcoin, but some Bitcoin muted with the volatility muted with UST and, and it rebalances by itself. So no taxable events. Yeah, I may, I may be interested in that. Also, what about BitLoo? That could be cool. Bitcoin and Luna. Or like I said before, you could have a blue chip Terra Alts cluster, Anchor, Astro, Mars, and Prism. And even, you know, even if you are familiar with all these protocols and you have researched them, it's going to be nice. You may want to uh, uh, put like 5% of your portfolio into something like this blue chip Terra Alts cluster because it's going to rebalance them. That could be good. Or what about, what if you just it can't be bothered to research the Astro Wars. You don't know what the deal is with retrograde and Apollo and reactor. And you don't even know much about Astroport itself, to be honest, if you're being honest with yourself. Could be. Um, you could just buy the whole Astro Wars, just buy the index, right? You could have a cluster called Astro Wars, and that has, it could give you a little exposure to everything in the whole Astro Wars. So you would be, it would basically track, the price of this cluster token would track the meme value of this Astro Wars narrative. That could be good. You could even put in dynamic logic, dynamic rebalancing logic with the weights such that when retro gets more Astro locked, then it is higher weighted in the cluster. Or if if reactor had more, it would the weight would go up in the cluster. You could do stuff like that. Or you could just buy the idea of privacy. You buy the narrative. You say, I want to have a cluster with some secret token. And, and you can do that because that's uh, a coin. Like it's native, so you can easily get that on Terra. It's from the secret network, obviously. You, you get that, you buy Void, Terra NATO, and you have bought the idea of privacy. And now that that resultant financial product, the cluster token for that cluster, is going to appreciate in value as the meme value of this narrative goes up, basically. So that's really interesting. And so, you know, this is the third idea. The, the, the first big idea is it's for new users. The second one, it's the heart of Terra, but also it could become, Nebula could become a DeFi destination. And just think about it. Why does all of DeFi why does all of DeFi come to Anchor to save their money? Why does all of DeFi go to Curve for access to stablecoin liquidity? It's because of the Lindy effect. It's because these are huge, established, trusted protocols with loads of liquidity. And it's ultimately because trust begets more trust. Confidence creates more confidence. Liquidity attracts more liquidity, right? These things could be copy and pasted. The, the mechanics could be copy and pasted, the, the incentives, it all, could all be copy and pasted. It's not that complex, but it's just, it has established itself. Anchor is trusted. The smart contracts are trusted. There's lots of liquidity, lots of trust and confidence. What if that were to happen with Nebula? And, and it could, because what Nebula is offering is, uh, as far as I know, the, the kind of crypto ETFs with like rebalancing, crowdsourced rebalancing and dynamic logic for the weights, that kind of stuff that product is not available anywhere in DeFi. So what if Nebula got so big that people bridged their coins and tokens from all over DeFi to Terra to participate in these clusters? That could be pretty cool. Like Nebula could be the destination for all of DeFi if you want to have crypto ETFs. And just imagine all the different interesting, powerful, useful, unique uh, clusters you could have if you had access to substantial liquidity from all over DeFi. And, you know, think about it. The future of Terra is cross-chain. Anchor is going cross-chain. Anchor wants to attract uh, tokens and coins and liquidity from all over DeFi. I think Nebula might just follow that path. We'll see. So, so that's the end of the video, basically. So, and it's the end of the whole series. Like, this has been my whole series on Nebula Protocol. I talked about the Genesis Cluster Lust. I talked about Nebula tokenomics. And today I gave you the big picture about Nebula. I told you about the, the narratives that Nebula may have, the, the different frameworks you might want to use to view it. Like, Nebula is going to be good for new users. It's going to onboard new users. It's going to be a gateway. It's also going to be good for people who love DeFi on Terra. It's going to be the heart of Terra, I think. All kinds of different um, coins and tokens are going to come to Nebula, and then cluster tokens will be created. And I think also people may come from all of DeFi to Nebula because it, what it offers is very unique, and it's being backed by TFL. It is going to attract a lot of liquidity from old money um, Terra addresses. It, it, it's going to be pretty big, and I think 
it's just going to get bigger. So there you go. The full launch of Nebula is going to be on May 10th. That's when you'll be able to buy Lust for the first time. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. That's the end of the video, the end of the series. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm thrilled uh, about Nebula Protocol. I'm just so excited about it, so enthusiastic, and I'm really looking forward to May 10th. Okay, that's the end, and uh, well, I'll see you later. Goodbye.